Hi, in this video I'm going to explain what a rotary switch is and how to use it. As the name implies, a rotary switch is a switch that rotates. As you can see, I have a rotary switch here and I'm turning it in order to affect the on position or the off position. This particular rotary switch only has two positions. Often rotary switches have more than two positions. Over here, I have a six position rotary switch. Rotary switches have distinct positions. As you can see, when I turn it, it stays in that position, and when I release it, it stays in the off position. Rotary switches are not considered momentary. A momentary switch is a switch where when you press it, it affects the change, and when you release it, the circuit goes back to its original condition. Over here, I have a rotary switch. I've connected my multimeter to the terminals of the switch. My multimeter is set to continuity. That means that when there's a short circuit, the meter will make a buzzing sound. As you can hear, my meter is making that buzzing sound. And if I show you the resistance, you can see that the resistance is below 2 ohms. So this is a short circuit. As I rotate the switch, you can see it's now an open circuit. Short circuit, open circuit. When I close the circuit, notice that it remains closed even though I'm no longer touching the knob. When I switch the switch off by rotating it, notice it stays off so it maintains that state of being off. Over here I've got a little circuit with a DC supply and a rotary switch. This is a four-way rotary switch. Notice I've got one output there, one output there, another, another. So I have four outputs and one input. Now on pin one I have connected an LED and just a current limiting resistor. When I rotate the switch to position 1, current will flow, it will flow through here and out through pin 1 and then it will go through this LED and the light will shine. I've now added a second circuit. If I rotate the switch to pin 2, it will disconnect this circuit and current will now only flow through this LED. So I can select the output I want by rotating the switch. At the back of this rotary switch, you can see that the pins are numbered. For example, that one says 12, then it's 11, 10, 9, all the way around to 1. I'm now going to use pin 1 and 2 and connect it to a circuit and show you how when I rotate the switch, individual circuits will be activated. On this rotary switch, I'll be using the input A. Some rotary switches are more complicated. This particular rotary switch allows me to have A connecting to 6 options and this input connecting to another six options. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to be using pin A and pin 1 and 2. Now, just like I have in the diagram, I've got a battery. Here's my battery. The output of my battery is going to the input of my rotary switch. So you can see this red wire is going to pin A of my rotary switch. And then I have two outputs. I'm using pins 1 and 2. On pin 1, I've got an LED. And pin 2, I've got an LED. Right, this red connection is the supply coming in via pin A on this crocodile lead. Then my yellow crocodile lead is connected to my one LED. My white crocodile lead is connected to my other LED. Right, there you can see the one LED is on, that's connected to my pin 1, and the high bright LED is connected to my pin 2. My rotary switch is already at position 1, and that is why that LED is on. As I rotate the rotary switch to position 2, can you see that I've effectively allowed current to flow through the other arm of that circuit. If I go back to 1, you can see that LED is coming on. If I go to 2, you can see that LED is going on. If I go to number 3 now, both are off. Right, so this is the function of the rotary switch. It allows me to choose which circuit I want the current to flow. Either the first circuit or the second or maybe the third if there was another LED here. And they don't only have to be LEDs, it can be any type of load that you've selected. Now rotary switches come in all sorts of packaging and styles. The main feature is that you are rotating it to switch the circuit on or off or to select one of the outputs. Now over here I've got what may look like a rotary switch but these are called variable resistors. These are also called potentiometers. Notice that I've connected my meter. My meter is now set to ohms and when I rotate this knob notice how the resistance is varying. And also notice that this is smooth. 
So I can rotate this and as you can see my meter is now at 8.6 kilo ohms and if I rotate it right to the other side it's less than 3 ohms. This is not a rotary switch, this is a variable resistor. If I do the same with the rotary switch, notice what happens to the meter. You can see that it is now a short circuit and the resistance is very low. When I rotate the switch, it goes open circuit. So this is on or off. It does not vary the resistance. Also, rotary switches often make a distinct click sound. For example, listen to the rotary switch clicking sound. while a variable resistor does not make such a sound. Over here I've got a practical example of a rotary switch. This is a multimeter and notice that if I want to set my multimeter to AC volts, I will rotate the switch to that position. DC volts, millivolts, ohms. So I can select the function by rotating the switch to whichever option I want. Inside the meter it's been wired in such a way that as I rotate the switch a certain function comes online. I'll now show you another application of where we use rotary switches. You see I can select my supply fed from the mains or the generator. When the generator is on this light will go on and I can select it like that. 